Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm back out on another wild camp. If you watched my previous video, last weekend I camped on top of Craig Kerrig Glycid. I'm not too far away from that location, but this weekend I'm on lower ground. I'm nestled in a valley between those surrounding mountains. It's a beautiful location and very peaceful. So I'm all set up. I've only got about 20 minutes of light left. I can feel the temperature drop in and the focus temperatures to drop tonight to minus one, minus two. But tomorrow morning, I'm expecting a bit of sunshine. So I'm gonna get the stove on now and make myself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is nice. This is my kind of camping. Nice and comfy, sat in my chair with a hot cup of coffee and a nice bit of heat coming off the wood stove. I do love this area. It's a cracking place and it's full of history. The standing stone you saw me walk past on the way, that's called Mine Lea and it was erected during the Bronze Age. And the road I walked along then is called San Helen. It's a Roman road and it starts in Carmarthen and it runs all the way up to Aberconwy in the north. 160 miles, it meanders up through central Wales. I walked some of it last year, last summer, when I was doing a snow down the way, and some of it's still intact, the cobbles are still in place. And the same, just a few miles down the road from here. There's a lot of Bronze Age cairns in the area. There's an old building I discovered when I was doing a bit of research last night. And it's just down the road by the bridge where I walked in. Uh, apparently it's an old farmhouse and um, it's been empty since the late 1800s I believe so I'm going to take a look down there in the morning and see if I can find the ruins for it For food tonight, what I've done, I've cooked a load of food in the house and I've vacuum sealed it so in there I've got veg, carrots, broccoli, Brussels sprouts and peas. And I've got potatoes and nut roast, big blob of cranberry sauce in there as well. And I've got a bag of gravy. So it's just a case of leaving them in that pan with some water and boiling it till it all eats through. Quite looking forward to that in fact, should be a nice supper. This is really good. Just the kind of food you want when you're out in the cold. I'm enjoying this. I'm having a great evening, really enjoying this camp. It's been bliss. I've just been chilling, listening to music, and watching the wood stove burn. Don't usually do music when I'm camping. I like to listen to nature, but I was just in the mood. So it's 10 o'clock. 
I've just looked at the forecast and apparently it's minus two, but I'm not cold in the slightest. Toby's wrapped up nice and warm in a tent in his sleeping bag. He's having a sleep and I'm about to see the night off with a wee dram. And tonight I've got this. It's a sample sent to me by Master of Malt for being such a good customer. But uh, it's the Isla Reserve, the classic range, 45.3%. It's a peated whiskey from the Isle of Isla, which is the Inner Hebrides. So it's a tiny island, about 25 by 15 miles, and they've actually got nine distilleries on there, which is pretty amazing. Most of them which do peated whiskey. So you've got Lafroig, Lagvolin, Ardbeg. They all come from the Isle of Isla. And I've never tried this, and I'm quite looking forward to it. I do love a peated whiskey, especially on a cold night like tonight. So let's get it poured. Oh, you can smell the peat. But before I tuck in, I've got a nice chocolate truffle. If you don't know, chocolate or whiskey are a thing. Frozen chocolate. Toby's up and about. Let's get you a hoodie on. Keep it warm. There we go. Right, let's try this. Wow. That's some serious peat. That's really good. That's a good whiskey. Good morning. I have had a fantastic night. I've really enjoyed this camp. It's been great. So I've been up since early. I walked six o'clock. I've been up and about doing stuff. It's 20 past eight now, and the sun is starting to rise. Still a little bit chilly. So we're gonna get coffee on the go now and make a nice breakfast. Thank <laughs> you. 
got almond butter and salted caramel porridge for breakfast this morning and some blueberries to go with it. There's Toby's breakfast. Nice big pan full of sausages. I had a bit of a scare last night, I had a bit of a fright. It had gone dark, I just settled down there with Toby and it was really peaceful, tranquil, no noise whatsoever. And right behind me, that there, it's a huge cliff face, it's really steep. And all of a sudden I just heard this huge crashing noise, like a mini avalanche. So I grabbed Toby, jumped behind the tree, I was expecting a load of boulders to come rolling for the campsite. But all of a sudden it just stopped. And it happened again then, about 10 minutes later big noise came crashing down and it stopped again so the only thing I could think it was because if it was boulders it would have carried on rolling there's a load of waterfalls up there it's frozen over so I'm thinking maybe they fought out and all the ice came crashing down but it did it scared the shit out of me so I may take a drone up there now there's another one up there as well it's quite a big one it's frozen over so I'm going to get the drone up now and take a look up there That's everything packed away. I'm ready for my little hike back to the car now. So I've a good clean of the area. This is where I had the wood stove. And this is where I was pitched. Like I said earlier, it's been a great camp. I've really enjoyed this one. I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Maybe I'll see you on my next adventure.